transmission commencing. Stand by. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an actual latte with this new Mr. Coffee Cafe Latte machine that I bought online. You may have seen my other video showing you the dimensions and all that stuff and the parts, but today I'm going to make an actual latte. So I have here the actual machine, of course, and let's take a closer look inside. Uh, it actually works very similar to a regular um, coffee machine. You know, it has a little area for a basket and water. So it's not quite an espresso machine. I'm going to put my little size 4 basket here. Actually, this is a little bit bigger than the one you're supposed to use because they sent me the wrong one, but it still works. But size 4 is the right size. Um, I'm going to put in my favorite coffee right now. This is actually uh, an espresso blend. You can use regular coffee too. If you like it stronger, you just have to use a little bit more. I'm going to make um, about a two to three serving latte. So I use about two tablespoons for every serving that I like to use. A little more if, depending on your coffee or taste. There you go. Okay. And then you see here on the side here, this is where you kind of add your water like a regular coffee machine. Um, you don't really need to measure water, your water per se. The most it'll hold it is, is eight ounces. Uh, you can make four ounces or eight ounces of coffee, whatever you prefer to use. There's little indentations if you can see, but if you can't, it's super easy. And I'm doing the full eight ounces. Alright, so I'm just going to close this. Now here's the actual picture that you need to use um, to make the latte. It comes with the machine. You can't really use any other picture for this machine. And I'm going to add my milk. Got that free. One and two percent works pretty well too for the frothing. Uh, if you like a lot of froth, and you'll see it already has this milk uh, fill line to make it extra easy. Again, I'm going to make the large batch, which is again about two to three cups. There we go. All right, and then. Here is uh, what goes on top that comes with the machine. You'll see it has a little frother on the end. I'm gonna snap that in, snap this in. You see this is a connector. I'm going to switch to cafe latte. You see it has a heat and froth option too. So, you know, maybe a couple hours later you have the other half of your your batch you want to reheat, it's really nice, or if you just want to heat milk, just a really nice feature. I'm going to switch it on, and then I just flip this switch, and there it goes. You can see, hopefully, the milk frothing, and pretty soon you'll see the coffee dripping as soon as it can heat up. Here the machine goes. And actually, while, while we're waiting for that coffee to come out, this is what I like to have used to add to some of my lattes to kind of flavor it up a little bit. Um, I bought at my Whole Foods store uh, this hazelnut organic syrup, which is nice. You just add about a tablespoon. Oh, you see the, um, the coffee coming out. And again, you can use regular coffee grounds or espresso grounds, depending on what you like and your taste. And, you know, it's kind of fun. You can play around. Um, the different types of coffee, different brands. Uh, it's really, really neat. And you see that milk kind of um, getting foamy there. And you see the coffee kind of blending into the milk. So when you get the latte, you don't get like a full white milky froth. It's kind of, your coffee kind of blends in there a little bit. So, um, but again, a very easy, convenient way to make lattes. Hi guys, so this is actually the batch that I just made. Uh, as you can see, it's almost done with the coffee. 
the light is still on. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that earlier, but it's still on, showing that it's you know, not ready to be removed yet. And it'll turn off by itself once it's ready to go. Um, you'll notice the coffee with the maximum milk and about 8 ounces of water. It's pretty full, so again, that max line that would definitely wouldn't go past that because you don't want your machine to overflow uh, dangerously. Um, and it makes a really nice latte. So now I just completed a cycle, the light turned off. I'm going to switch this switch back up to release the machine. As you can see, the froth just kind of comes up eventually. This is again the same batch that you saw at the very beginning. I'm going to remove it. The top is very little hot, so not that hot, but uh, you got to be a little careful. Um, you'll see I've already added about a tablespoon of this hazelnut syrup that you saw earlier. I've got two cups ready. Let's put a little bit more. Let's put some in the other one. Again, it's about a tablespoon. And I'm going to. The coffee, of course, tends to come out a little bit first. I like to mix it a little bit to mix in the syrup. I'll do about half and half. got a lot of the froth here. I'm just going to open up this top. I use my spoon to finish this off. These aren't full lattes, but I have probably almost another third in there, so if you fill these up, I suppose, um, probably just have little to none left. Um, again, it makes about two to three cups lattes, and here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.